I've just sent you a request. Can you hear me? Okay. Great, great. We can hear you. Hi. You're doing welcome on the show. Really Thanks, good to Darren. have you. Same here. Pleasure to be here. Yeah. Thank you. I hope it's not uh, too late in Singapore. No, no. It's just nine o'clock. And anyways, it's a public holiday, so tomorrow there's no office, no okay. school, nothing. Yes. Okay. Great, great. So we were just talking with my audience about you know. Uh, you know, you as an artist, you are into acting, modeling, uh, you know, dancing. You have won a lot of awards in acting also, and yes. uh, do a lot of uh, you know print advertisements. Uh, so I just wanted to know your last uh, appearance on the silver screen was in Katha at eight. Yes. Uh, so um, I wanted to know how you you know you came back and you restarted your career. and uh, you've done so many movies uh, you know i see on youtube all the time and uh, you know it's for me um, i mean i had stage fright when i was in college so okay. you know you know so uh, <laughs> for me it's like you know acting is like a big thing but you know people, most of the people they feel that you know it's very simple and you know anybody can do it but when you uh-huh. actually face the camera then you really come yes. to know you know what you're getting yes. into So yes, can you tell us a little bit about your journey you know and uh, mm-hmm. I believe you start I read somewhere you started at the age of 4 Yes so I did So was that uh, we would like to viewers would like to hear Sure my first yeah. performance was uh, on stage as a dancer mm-hmm. which right. was at the age of 4 and mm-hmm. uh, since then it's been my first love uh, being on mm-hmm. stage whether to dance right. sing or act and mm-hmm. um but i didn't take it up as a career you know in right. the younger years of my life but mm-hmm. um it it just happened that you know life goes on you know like so many other responsibilities come in between and you choose different paths but mm-hmm. i mean somehow my heart and soul just belonged to the arts so mm-hmm. in 2015 i came back i went for mm-hmm. an audition where i really okay. wanted to be back on stage uh, like you said mm-hmm. people have like you have stage pride right. i think uh, most of us everybody has that but um mm-hmm. that that fright that nervousness of being on stage being in front of mm-hmm. the audience is right. i think w- what gives me the kick i mean uh, being on stage is more of me than mm-hmm. being in front of the camera that is right. uh, yeah So 2015 I came back um, I did a play it was um, a very interesting role I did of a you know uh, a Mumbai uh, um, girl um, okay. who used like kind of topori kind of language though in english but mm-hmm. um, it was very interesting and it was a comic role and uh, okay. yeah since that since that day I never looked back I was uh, mm-hmm. I think by god's grace I kept on getting work and uh, it's a mm-hmm. lot of hard work especially in this industry i believe it's not that easy to get mm-hmm. through and make your space because right. there's so much talent it's it's too much it's overflowing the amount of mm-hmm. actors and you know different kind of various artists are there so right. uh, but so far yeah it has been good now it's 2020 five years mm-hmm. since i'm back on stage and in front of the camera so yeah oh, that's great that's great that's really great i mean uh, you know um as an actor it is uh, you know very tough to actually you know first read the role then get into the script and then actually play the part so what goes behind you know your preparation in theater mm. acting is it like different in theater and different in a kind of short film or is it the absolutely, same absolutely absolutely it's mm-hmm. amazingly different uh where the prep is concerned i think every actor mm-hmm. has his or her own style or ways mm-hmm. of uh, getting into a character and mm-hmm. uh, for me because i'm more uh, into theater so my learnings have been through the ways of you know doing your script your back story and understanding mm-hmm. of the character through the way mm-hmm. the way it is done in theater because on right. camera you have your own breaks you have cuts you have retakes and retakes and but on stage it's a right. single take you are there um, and you yeah. there and that's it i mean there's no retake so preparing mm-hmm. for a character i think that's the most beautiful part of mm-hmm. doing any production and that's my favorite part going through that mm-hmm. drill understanding 
uh, small small nuances about that particular character and of of the various characters mm-hmm. who are mm-hmm. uh, who are um, your co-stars and right. um, um but getting into the skin of the character is so important mm-hmm. right because you cannot be you on stage i mean i cannot be ranita if i'm playing um a role of xyz i have to right. look like the, the character i'm playing or behave like the character i'm, I'm mm-hmm. playing so right. i think that that's what uh, i love about acting like playing different characters mm-hmm. getting into different yeah. skins yeah so it it's that's a lot good. of hard work but mm-hmm. if you enjoy it i think it's never right. uh difficult if you enjoy something so much yeah, definitely i mean um, you have to be really passionate about it and you should enjoy yes. it right and yes. not get up as a, you know, something like a job kind of thing yeah right it's not a compulsion mm-hmm. you're doing it out of your right. heart and soul so mm-hmm. that's very important if you enjoy mm-hmm. something it's never difficult for you my uh, i have my own production company okay. and oh, um, yes. so yeah I started uh, that where I am uh, producing short films as well as theater mm-hmm. productions and mm-hmm. I I did uh, one recently this year my first theater production called Chitya Pat right. and okay. yeah. it was super hit all yeah, shows sold out yeah. really yes, good yes. Yeah. and um I also uh, run an online business so mm-hmm. because I mean acting yes of course it's not like India and Singapore right. that, you know you keep on getting projects again and again though i am doing a lot of work in india i do mm-hmm. travel for work to mumbai right. but um, because of covid everything is stopped you know everything mm-hmm. is at a standstill so yeah i mean um, doing ba- maintaining a balance with my business and along with uh, my acting mm-hmm. I, it, it's tough mm-hmm. but it's fun because you have the best of both the worlds so, mm-hmm. yeah yeah and i believe you are into different forms of art uh, how did that happen and you know is it um, a balanced approach you using or what is the idea behind it uh there's no idea behind it as such it's just mm-hmm. that i think i'm i'm blessed i have been born like that mm-hmm. i have uh, i always wanted to learn the different forms of arts mm-hmm. but i just happen to i mean if i start painting i i just go on painting i i normally love to paint walls i do wall murals mm-hmm. and nice. um i i prefer walls to canvases mm-hmm. and uh i i it just i i don't know um it just comes from within i have never forced myself for it so um, mm-hmm. i've just been blessed uh, where dancing is concerned singing i i i've learned kathak and i'm still um doing it because it's an ongoing mm-hmm. process so i love classical dancing i have not learned singing but i do mm-hmm. sing I have learned yes, I I've sung in, mm, yeah, I've, I've sung in movies what the dancing also yeah yes yes, yes I yeah. have yeah I mean um, throughout my school yes I have won many awards but then mm-hmm. after a long break of almost 15 years uh, when I started mm-hmm. again I have won a couple of awards in Singapore right so uh, tell me about your journey how was it like you know connecting with the right people in uh, you know Bombay and you know how hard was it to actually you know connect and uh, you know restart okay you know so we um, you Singapore going to Mumbai and those things and your association with Mr Shishir how did that happen yes yeah. okay so with Mr Shishir um it so happened we connected through facebook we had common friends okay. and um, yeah he was coming to singapore for a shoot right. and i got to know that he's coming so i connected with him because mm-hmm. um i was into organizing workshops so mm-hmm. i just gave him an idea why don't we do a workshop in your year oh. and that's how it started <laughs> so one thought one idea has grown so mm-hmm. far like right now we are doing uh, wow. multiple workshops online mm-hmm. at the moment right. and so that's how um, our uh, connection started and then um, we we thought of doing some work together so we acted in couple of uh, short films and right. um, the play which we did recently chitya pat uh, even mm-hmm. shishi ji was there in it and okay. um, yeah i mean uh, i think i've been really blessed with some wonderful friends and connections um who are always yeah, there I mean, to help and mm-hmm. yeah yeah he's so, a very senior actor in bollywood also yes. and in theater also so it's like yes. you know, great you know having yeah. him on board 
It's I awesome. know, and and having the support of you know he's literally my mentor, and the way he guides, mm-hmm. and I mean, uh, it's so many years of experience, and if you have somebody right. who's guiding mm-hmm. you through it, it's a blessing. Like yes. the movie Raz, uh, you know, it was just amazing the way he Razi. performed. Razi, yeah, amazing. Razi, yes. Mm-hmm. So, as an artist, what do you think? What inspires you, really? Um, what kind of work, and you know, what you would like to be known as, you know, or known for? I want to do work that motivates people. Mm-hmm. Um, like I personally would love to do roles. Right. By by suppose I do a role, and if by doing that particular role or whatever I I do, I perform. Even if mm-hmm. one life changes for the better, I would right. consider myself an award winner. I mean, I really, I am also into motivational or uh, speaking. I want to venture into that big time. Oh, um, right. Yeah, because um, I love the camera. I just, mm-hmm. I just love being, uh, you know, talking in front of the camera mm-hmm. or on stage, meeting people, talking to people. Mm-hmm. But I, I feel it's a great medium to get through people. because um i mean and that's the best way um, to reach mm-hmm. out and, and right now especially we are all experiencing that the entertainment oh, yeah. industry is literally keeping everybody alive mm-hmm. if there was no entertainment mm-hmm. people would that's go true. crazy i know due to lockdown it must be tough you know tough for people Absolutely. to actually really uh, tough so right. i think that that way is i really feel blessed being an actor mm-hmm. it's so right. good like you can entertain people you can help people come out of stuff that they're stuck in and uh, you know mm-hmm. divert their mind from something we they're, they're feeling low about and pull them up or just mm-hmm. take them into a fantasy world right i mean that's what movies mm-hmm. are all about so it is yeah. great i i really feel great being an artist or mm-hmm. you know for yeah, the last four five months it was you know it's like a, you know something you know um you know life changing and yes. people have really yeah. adopted you know adapted to it and especially you know um in india you know we are actually now embracing the digital revolution and yes. uh, you know um what about you know in other parts of the world do you think uh, this is not something new that happened or now uh, the whole world is actually embracing digital and they are actually using this medium to have webinars and you know interact and yes, obviously I mean, it changed a lot of cost also it does it's changed everything the whole scenario has completely changed mm-hmm. and what we never thought of like when we used to do uh, physical right. theater workshops for example mm-hmm. we right. never thought that we could do it online but then there was no other option and mm-hmm. we started it and people are loving it in fact sometimes we feel that we have a, a more a direct connect because you're facing each mm-hmm. other right mm-hmm. and you can't even look mm-hmm. here and there you're constantly looking at each other with full attention and right. uh, that has done wonders and uh, i think lot of businesses are not going to go back to the normal uh, stuff mm-hmm. because yeah, a really. lot of cost cutting has happened you're sitting at your home and doing your work right. yeah, but but for acting industry i think it's a big uh, hit especially mm-hmm. movies i mean theaters are shut and mm-hmm. um that's yeah, a huge I mean, that's huge a loss huge, huge, huge loss. loss yes even yeah, for I mean, actors to get work i mean that's their uh, basic uh, income people who are right. full time actors it mm-hmm. has really really hit them very badly so i believe in bombay yeah. they started restarted shooting now slowly slowly yes. it's happening yes but yes, obviously it's not yes. that scale without audience you know even the kapil sharma show the, you know there's yeah. no audience now yeah um, right so it's been, and you never know when it's going to start so yes definitely yeah. it's a huge loss for them yes but i think it's really uh, you know um, the rise of the ott platform the web series and everything that yes. has had you know um, find budding actors and who who have a lot of potential and who are not getting a, pa- a pa- role in movies uh, yes. bollywood films uh, yes. you know it has helped them grow Absolutely. and uh, get recognized absolutely it's such a great platform and and so many more artists get a chance i mean there's so many yeah, web series yes. right now mm-hmm. that and and there's no dearth of uh, um, right. talent especially talent in india is, i think yeah, it's, it's amazing. overloaded it's overloaded mm-hmm. so it's it's great mm-hmm. everybody is getting a chance and once you get recognized automatically you tend to get work if you are good mm-hmm. right. there's no way you can be left out so yeah, yeah it's amazing, amazing. amazing. 
you know there's a web series you know releasing every week and you know, something yes. new is happening i believe you are also taking part in city of dreams uh, by hotstar yes. season 2 yes. right it's yes on season 2 right now the shoot has uh, uh, restarted because of covid it had stopped so mm-hmm. now they've resumed the shoot so hopefully right. soon it will be on i am even mm-hmm. eagerly waiting sadly in, in singapore we don't have hotstar but mm-hmm. uh, at least i mean uh, in india i mm-hmm. know my whole family is there and friends are there mm-hmm. so yeah right I'm eagerly waiting for that it's it's a fabulous uh, web series the city of dreams by nagesh kukunur sir okay nice yeah yeah so any uh, you know uh, you know a favorite um, uh, play of yours where you would like to you know enact a scene for us for the audience <laughs> i see a question there so um, okay you know, if you could do you know something like your mantos play is majdhar mein was you oh, know was very well you know received it is so, my that, favorite yeah, <laughs> i love it and the character i played my god i still yeah. crave to do that role again it's so close <laughs> to my heart so so close to my heart okay yeah. sure. so you want me to say a couple of lines from there sure if you remember you know why not that will be yes, great okay all right let me just give it a shot Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Munmun from Doctor US. Ko- Sorry. Yeah. Munmun from US has requested the same. Yeah. Oh, hi Munmun. Yeah. Thank you. Huh. I I would love yeah. to play this part so thanks. I mean I'm getting a chance to do Asghari again. Uh-huh. Um it was a fabulous character. Fabulous character nice. and completely different from what I am. Completely uh-huh. different. Uh-huh. So okay, here it goes. I hope um I do justice after I did it in 2017 so it's been 3 years now. डॉक्टरों का कहना है आपको ढेर सारे सेब खाने चाहिए। आज दुल्हन बेगम कितनी प्यारी दिखाई दे रही है ना? हां हां प्यारी है प्यारी दिखाई नहीं देती। हाथी के दांत खाने के और दिखाने के और लीजिए आप सेब खाइए। ओहो मैं तो इन्हें छीलना भूल ही गई। रुकिए चीनी भी चीज को देखकर हर आदमी धोखा खा सकता है ये लीजिए मैंने इसके लाल गालों को छुरी से घायल कर दिया दैट्स अ नाइस वर्ड डायलॉग ग्रेट या इट वाज अ ब्यूटीफुल प्ले इट वाज अ ब्यूटीफुल प्ले वेरी 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 नाइस ओ शिशु सर इज आस्किंग यू नो व्हाई डोंट यू टॉक अबाउट चित या पट ओ ओके <laughs> yeah chitya but um, was again a beautiful journey a very very intense character mm. and um, so we have a fabulous director here sangeeta nambiar so it was co-produced mm. by sangeeta um, play acting mm-hmm. productions and my rsk productions and mm-hmm. um, it was just four actors and mm-hmm. a very intense play it was always done in marathi it's done okay. more than 600 shows and it was first okay. time done in hindi so um okay. we got approvals by by the by like copyrights to do it in hindi okay. i'm just scrolling down to one second yeah okay yes we agree with the official yeah. he's a fabulous actor <laughs> i'm sorry oh he's writing okay <laughs> yeah even i mean uh, the whole team was amazing we were four of us and um mm-hmm. it was an um, amazing emotional uh, graph throughout the right. play it was comedy it was anger it was crying and a lot of uh, really mm-hmm. a big emotional drama so right. yeah it did pretty well and the audience was happy and first time ever it was done in hindi so i'm oh. a great hindi lover great great hindi mm-hmm. lover i love performing in hindi so i'm, mm-hmm. I'm glad we did that yes mm-hmm. nice so you won so many awards so what's next uh, any future projects that you know you're looking forward to currently um, as of now uh, as of now I'm eagerly waiting for the city of dreams though my my part mm-hmm. of the shoot is done but i'm mm-hmm. really looking forward to uh, for the season 2 to release and right. i also did um, a bollywood film which again um, thanks to covid-19 the release was mm-hmm. stopped it was to be released in march and right. that's when the lockdown started so mm-hmm. we are hoping uh, for it to release on one of the ott platforms hopefully right. soon maybe within a mm-hmm. month or so 
and okay. um, there's another film um, I did in Singapore, and uh, it's under post production. So mm-hmm. um, it's called Dweta. It's a beautiful story, beautiful role, and yeah, um, yeah I can't speak much about it right now. But <laughs> once yeah. it's out, obviously everybody will know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. and would you like to talk about the sacrifice you know that got lakhs of views and it did yes. very well that was yes. like a mini short film so it um, like... it it was really um it was like you know few crazy passionate people coming together and mm-hmm. it was a completely volunteer project the actors the director the mm-hmm. assistant director the photographer everybody just just came in we all mm-hmm. came in together and we got this story we have a fabulous writer tanuj in singapore and mm-hmm. um, so he wrote the story and uh, we shot it in 12 hours mm-hmm. it was directed okay. by zafar anjum and sanjeev verma and vinod was mm-hmm. also involved so it was a beautiful um, creation by all these creative people all like minded we are mm-hmm. all friends and right. it turned okay. out to be uh, an amazing product it's been liked by everyone uh, myself mm-hmm. and shishi ji won the best actor female and male awards in in us um, global uh, films and music awards mm-hmm. so it's been doing really well for us yeah i believe you have a good team in singapore a good bunch yes. of people yes and, some lovely yeah. people yeah yes and and you yeah. know the beauty is that they're all passionate about it nobody is doing it for yeah. money we are all really doing mm-hmm. it because we love doing it yeah. so it, it's a different uh, game altogether mhm yes oh, that's great so it's like something very you know people would want to know uh, those who want to pursue acting you know how right. is the process mm-hmm. and what is it exactly you enjoy how it's done uh, so mm-hmm. you know what your take on you know the current uh, you know web series trends and uh, uh, do you think there is a specific genre which is you know there are lot of uh, short films or a web series coming out or you know you think uh, you know there should be different genres which should also you know get a chance in you know, their storylines and other you know because yeah, i see I, a lot I, of anime and you know those kind of uh, thriller yes. kind of web series yes yes that that out. trend has started i think and I mm-hmm. believe because it's got such huge viewership, and mm-hmm. because of which everybody is tending to make the same thing, you know, similar mm-hmm. lines. Because right. at the end of it, if you produce something, you want viewership, you want to get to get the money out, mm-hmm. right? So, right. but but I I really feel at this point of time, we really need a lot of motivational stuff, something that can mm-hmm. help people, you know, have hope in mm-hmm. life. Because there's so many lives getting affected in so mm-hmm. many different ways, yeah. so. i mean more of happy stuff should be created so people can laugh at least they forget about their problems when they're watching something funny mm-hmm. something positive with hope right. that okay you know things will get fine some yes, or the other there's a lot of yeah. underworld you know, there is you know kind of web series which has been coming yes. out like yeah so, recently i saw um this one uh, nawazuddin siddiqui's new uh, web series no no short film uh so you know uh, have you seen that which is the recent one have you uh, which no. you seen no i haven't which is the latest one you've seen recently okay so i'm actor, pretty bad you know, at this you look up to what about uh, you know uh, which actor do you look up to and you know uh, do you derive inspiration from you know, that's a good question which a viewer has asked okay vidya balan oh vidya balan yeah yes. she's great to me and also like Very i've good. always been a great fan of madhuri dikshit ji and mm-hmm. uh, yeah i mean the the few actors were so versatile so mm-hmm. natural any any kind of role they can just play it so easily so well so i really look up to these guys I mean, their work is amazing yeah i know like she's really talented both of them obviously they're yes. like i and uh, and uh, one question from my side is uh, yes. if given a chance uh, who would you collaborate with in hollywood or bollywood for your mm-hmm. next project so you know what are you looking at you know uh, in terms of you know collaboration with someone like your dream project you can say or my you dream project on your work okay. mainly i i i love working with very uh, 
tough difficult directors i love mm-hmm. being directed and i love the oh. drill the director that yes i am actually and uh-huh. it's my dream to get directed by sanjay leela vansali sir i don't know when will that uh-huh. happen if that will happen oh. or not but that is uh, my dream a big dream uh-huh. oh lovely <laughs> 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 so uh, you know how are you passing time during lockdown what exactly are you i heard you are doing a lot of workshops uh, to yes. train body actors and you are doing yes. samaro which is a gathering tell us something about samaro okay so samaro is a um, lot of people have started calling it a medicine for covid mm-hmm. and oh. and that was really? yeah that was actually the idea the thought behind it um i got to know uh, like my parents are in india and you know they were mm-hmm. stuck at home i cannot travel mm-hmm. i can't be with them and mm-hmm. i i started hearing so many stories friends going into depression and what not mm-hmm. so i just thought i spoke to a friend uh, who's in singapore in singapore that mm-hmm. i just feel like doing something you know we should do something that mm-hmm. can inspire people or just get people out of their uh shell mm-hmm. and talk and sing just have fun mm-hmm. so that's how the idea came and like it was a thursday or a friday i thought mm-hmm. and on a saturday i announced it mm-hmm. that every mm-hmm. saturday we are going to have a two hour gathering mm-hmm. online right. everybody comes you just perform it's a non judgmental platform we all sing right. together you act you recite your poems or whatever so mm. uh and and it really helped people and that was the whole idea behind it to okay. and and then it it became a trend now we have already done 18 samaros and um, the people who are it's become like a family and they wait for saturdays that when will next saturday come and when will samaro come and uh, mm-hmm. so it's been really helpful for everyone and even for us i mean we were also yeah. locked down even we needed something to you know um, mm-hmm. have a good time meet everyone through online and see each each other talk to each other so it really helped mm-hmm. everyone a lot and it's been doing so mm-hmm. well so there's a question from kirti arora uh-huh. uh huh renita ji what is your suggestion or tips to those who are new and want to start up with that thing okay mm-hmm. so the first uh, thing is to explore and how would you explore i mean mm-hmm. um go join something or mm-hmm. or read about it or watch some videos if you don't want to join right. a workshop then right. watch some videos on acting uh what does it take mm-hmm. what should you do mm-hmm. or right. i would seriously say that straight away go and join a workshop if you want to join right. it physically go or because once you join you open up and the most important thing for an actor if you want to become mm-hmm. an actor is you need to get mm-hmm. rid of your inhibitions any kind right. of inhibitions so to mm-hmm. remove your inhibitions you need to interact with you know like minded people who are there and somebody who can guide you a mentor who gives you certain mm-hmm. tips certain exercises right. that you do only then you'll be able to understand that right. the actor ko karna kya hai kaise aage badhna hai kaise actor banna hai mm-hmm. and then only mm-hmm. you'll realize and sometimes you feel okay it's not my right. cup of tea and some people mm-hmm. feel wow oh my god i love it so it's all mm-hmm. about exploring you have to mm-hmm. come on the floor explore and see how you feel about it and then take it forward mm-hmm. i hope that uh, answers the question yeah yeah so there's a question from sudanda chohan yeah uh, she is asking how do you manage your personal and professional life you know now that it is work from home and yes. you're following your passion and your husband is doing something maybe he's working somewhere so how do you manage it so um i have two kids and um i mm-hmm. i love giving time to them i uh, one of mm-hmm. those indian mothers who goes on a kid trip if you don't give time to your kids so mm-hmm. it's difficult but i love the challenge um right now my workshops are online so my kids mm-hmm. also know they give me that space okay from this time to this time it's a workshop then i'm doing right. that and once i'm done with it i go spend at least one or two hours with them help them mm-hmm. with their studies or go out and play with them and like i said i also do um, an online business and right. for that i do go to my office because in singapore mm-hmm. we are not like locked down in the house we can go out mm-hmm. so right. yeah i mean like a regular uh, office hour morning till evening i'm there and at nights mm-hmm. i do have workshops which start at 10 pm so once my kids sleep 
um i have these workshops along which you should we do with uh, us mm-hmm. us kids and some adults so that starts mm-hmm. at 10 or 10:30 in the night but i think mm-hmm. when you love doing something you really don't mind i mean even <laughs> if you don't get to sleep yeah. you're okay with that mm-hmm. so and then and, and at the end of the day i think when your kids see you happy uh, mm-hmm. they also are happy so it's easier for you to manage the balance between personal and professional life if you're mm-hmm. enjoying your work yeah as for me my wife is into it software professional so okay. most of the time is on the laptop so i get <laughs> a lot of free time for myself yeah <laughs> but yeah yeah it's really you know um a full task for her the kind mm. of you know the pressure she goes and you know the most of the corporates even mnc's uh, uh you know uh, who are in india they mm-hmm. like you know you have nothing else to do so you better work for us so 18 20 hours a day i know yeah <laughs> people are helping each other if you heard about you know some um yeah, like some things like in bollywood house one or two and you know some of the bollywood yes. celebrities are helping out yes yeah uh, you no know, yeah. so it's like something which is really driving change and you no know, mindsets need to change right yes. Um, yes these kind of calamities they really make you think that you know what Absolutely. you are doing what wrong you are doing what is the yes. you know right thing to do uh, people you know had become a lot of you know engrossed in their selves so it's Absolutely. a more the society so yes. um, you know as you said mental health and everything nowadays is very yeah concern. i mean big big concern more than anything else right. and if you're not if you're mentally not healthy you are gone i mean you mm-hmm. really can't uh, survive i mean physically some day or the other it's going to hit you mm-hmm. and uh, yeah so yeah. it's very important that you know we help each other out and you know support each other at least friends and family and you know, close aids and mm-hmm. this is a time but i'm sure it'll pass and uh, yes uh, we would uh, you know definitely like to know um, you take you know what you want what kind of message you want to give your fans and your listeners uh, singer dancer kashish is online he's saying hi ha <laughs> uh, hi kashish yeah she's a fabulous singer a young yeah. talented girl yes oh yeah. nice yeah yeah mm-hmm. so, yeah, so uh, really i'm i'm sorry could you just repeat i mean uh, the message for um yeah. these days the right these times for you know right these times and how oh. you know people should uh, handle this and how should they think about the future you know anything that you would like to share sure i just feel i mean it's extremely important to stay positive because see life is anyways uncertain we don't know right. we're going to be alive the next moment or not so mm-hmm. just live each day the way it is i mean just just think that you know today is your last day and enjoy today because the moment mm. you start enjoying and enjoying the present moment mm. you stay positive and the key is to stay positive and help each other at this time and a lot of mm. people are into fear and um, you know they mm. want to accumulate whatever they have and uh, and there are a lot of people who are going out and helping each other because the more you help the more blessings you get the more positive vibes you spread and the more happy mm. you become so at yeah. this point of time i think it's extremely important to reach out to people talk to people there are a lot of people mm-hmm. who need help and yeah. i'm also supporting few groups in india who are oh, into uh, volunteer okay. services yeah. yes to talk mm-hmm. to people on the phone if right. if not you can't go out there are numbers um, i've been um, highlighting on samaro also where uh, you know you guys right. can just just call there are 400 people doing uh, the seva in india and right. uh, just yeah. call them and talk to them it's a big help sometimes all you mm-hmm. need is to talk and mm-hmm. you know what what does it take so just talk to people just spread happiness mm-hmm. at this time and don't don't be scared because the moment you get scared things are going to go right. wrong yeah mm. so yeah, yeah definitely really you know, do, it really makes you happy you know helping others out and you know yes. uh, doing yes. something nice yes. it's it's yes. for your own self right yes absolutely yeah mm-hmm. it's great talking to you uh, i hope you've covered Thank everything you, so it's just uh, you know great to uh, for you to spare your time with us oh i loved it i loved it too thanks a lot